All right, a player I'm more excited about, Devin Singletary. We yes. talked about him uh, quite a bit. He missed some time from weeks three through six. He never put up one of those great fantasy week-winning type of weeks, but he was good 50% of the time, which you love seeing. You also just highly efficient player. I mean, you're talking about somebody who on basically 100 fewer carries competed yards-wise with David Montgomery. I mean, wasn't touchdown dependent at all. Only four touchdowns on the year, but still put up a good fantasy game 50% of the time. I just think that David uh, Devin Singletary has a great opportunity to step up, to level up for fantasy owners. He yep. was... Uh, dynamic. He was RB 16 from week 7 through 16. Yeah, and from week 9 on, when they basically said, okay, Devin Singletary, you're the guy. He was averaging 16 carries, 75 yards on the ground, and two and a half receptions per game. The problem were it was touchdowns. He had a touchdown for every 75 and a half carries. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's absolutely rid ridiculous, but the big plays are there. 20 or more rushing yards on 4.6% of his runs. That's that's number one in terms of uh, percent for big runs. He had seven total uh, uh, runs of over 20 yards. That's only one fewer than Saquon Barkley. He's You, you He's, can just see it. He, and, and I've talked about, he doesn't make sense. He's small. He's, like, he's smaller than a prototypical running back. His athletic profile is... Close to mine. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Not true. I, I've i just improved my, my You've stats. You've improved your no, athletic but, profile. Look, I mean, his, his athletic testing at the combine was, it felt like a death sentence. But here he is, just being awesome. And the Devin Singletary feels like an outlier at this point. Well, this was in some ways similar to, you know, Kareem Hunt going in the was it third round pick, right? Right. So, didn't necessarily jump off the page at the combine, but in pads, instinct, lateral movement, the ability to find a hole, fit with the offense, all of those things matter. Singletary, how would you – let me put you, put it to you this way. Okay. He finished as the RB16 if you look at weeks 7 through 16 when he was basically back when, when from injury. When he got injury. the starter Yeah, position. got the yep. starter position. Is he a top 15 running back for you next oh, year? Oh, man. I know we're sitting here in February, but do you think he's in that top 15? Because I think he is. I think he's right on the I mean, right on the edge there. 15 is, is a really good over-under. I think I would lean the under right now. If you said he's a, is he a top 20 guy, yes, he'll be a top 20 running back. Those touchdowns, that I was talking about, it, it's going to be a problem It we, in his career. Josh Allen, for all the improvements he made, the Buffalo Bills are never going to be a really high-powered offense or putting up super gaudy touchdown numbers. It's just not going to happen. Well, and even then if they on, do, he's going to steal some And of then them. on top yeah. of that, Josh Allen is going to rip off six rushing touchdowns or so every single year, cannibalizing from, from Devin Singletary's ceiling. So top 15, I think that's – that's tough. That's because he, his percentage of great games next year, as the full time starter, it's still not going to be a wow number. But he'll be very good. He'll be a rock solid running back too. You think he'll be drafted in a position where you'll be interested? I think Devin Singletary will be a third round pick probably. Okay. If you want more of that, click down there, see the whole episode. Click over there, subscribe to the show. We're here all year round. Do not miss it.